if you're currently struggling to do a foot stall, I want to give you a few tips that are going to make things a lot easier for you. So the first thing is not your foot that's on the ball, but it's your foot that's off the ball. Because when you're doing a foot stall, it actually requires a little bit of balance. So you should have most of the weight in your planting foot. In this left foot, if I'm stalling with my right, I should have most of my weight in my left foot so I can stay centered. Because I think you'll find when you're trying to do a foot stall, sometimes you're all over the place. So if you can keep more centered, try to keep straighter over the ball, put more weight into this planting leg, bend your knee a little bit, that's gonna help you to start. Okay, the next thing is your foot technique. Okay, so the basic thing is I'm really curling, I'm making a pocket right here. I'm curling my toes. Okay, I'm making a little pocket for the ball. And this might be a great way to start. Just make that flex foot technique. So it should almost hurt. You should feel the pain in your in your shins and even in your calves because you're not used to flexing your foot like that. And it should really be flexed. Okay, so my curls, my toes are curled and I'm making my toes point towards the sky or even towards my shin. Okay, and you might just want to start like that. Just put in that pocket and again, balance on your left foot, flex foot technique with your right. Okay, and I want you to really work on using your weaker foot as well because this will actually really help your touch a lot. If you can come, become comfortable stalling the ball with your weaker foot, it's gonna help your touch more than you would really think. So when you're practicing, I always want you to practice with both feet, okay? And making mistakes, it's gonna happen. But as long as you're learning from it and you keep trying, you stay positive, you're gonna figure it out. So you may just wanna start with your foot on the ground like that. Once you get that technique and you can keep that, then bring it off the ground and try moving it around. Okay, side to side. So if the ball comes out to the right, I'm gonna keep that same technique, but I'm gonna have my foot more on the right side of the ball and I'm gonna bring it back into the center. If it's way out here, it's very tough for me to control. So you wanna keep it in the center of your body. If it's going to this side, I'm just gonna move my foot on this side of the ball right here and try to bring it back into the center, okay? But just practicing moving it side to side is another great way to improve your stall technique. biggest thing when you're practicing just like any other skill is your mentality so if you're getting pissed off frustrated with yourself that's not gonna help just take a step back take a deep breath and realize that getting frustrated isn't gonna make you better like I always say so keep a level-headed mind just look at what you're doing okay say I'm trying to do this but it's not working so what do I need to change what's wrong with my technique what's wrong with my body positioning Hey, and over time you're gonna get it. But the biggest thing is that you stay positive. Just like all these tricks, just like all these skills, in time you will get it if you stay positive and keep reviewing your skills, what you did wrong, what you did right, and over time you're gonna master it. <laughs>